Hi everyone, my name is Dennis. And I'm Karima. And this is our first YouTube video. That's right. We've been thinking about this for a while now, and here we are. Today, we wanted to introduce ourselves and answer some questions from our Instagram account. And by the way, guys, if you are interested to follow us on Instagram, we're gonna link it either here or here. Or both. Or both. So, are you ready, honey? I'm ready. All right, the first question is, where are you from? I'm from Morocco. And I'm from uh, Bosnia. Uh, I was raised in Connecticut, though, in the States. Second question is, how did we meet? This is a long story, and um, we're still going to tell you guys about it. Do you want to? Yeah, so okay. we actually met online. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's a pretty funny story at the beginning, because when we first started talking, when we matched, uh, I asked her where she's from and she told me it's Morocco and I was like, oh great, I'm from Connecticut and then I was like, so do you live in Morocco? And she was like, yeah, and then I stopped talking to her for like six months because obviously I wasn't trying to talk to someone. He ghosted me. <laughs> I ghosted you. <laughs> yeah, so for six months and uh, but the good thing is after six months I went back on. Well, I, I got it back because I was actually trying to travel and I still remember that she was from Morocco. Mm -hmm. So I messaged her saying, hey, uh, are you married? Are you, are you still single? Can no, talk? I think you were like, uh, are you taken? <laughs> are you still single? Single. <laughs> That's what you said. Something like that. So that got us talking again. Started talking a lot. We, you know, we shared each other's Instagram and then we started video chatting all the time. Yeah, every um, day. Every day. Yeah. So after about a month, of talking every day and what that means is like we were talking facetiming two to three hours and again you got to know the little time zone difference here and connecticut it's six hour difference yeah. from morocco so after i would be done with work around 5 a.m it would be like 11 12 a.m in morocco and uh that's when we would start talking and we would talk for two three hours so she stayed up for hours talking to me. Yeah. That's and funny. after now, after about a it, month. It was the same time. It was the same thing. I'm sorry. Uh, when you're done with work. Yeah. You're late. I wake up at six and it's still like at night. That's it's true. still night in Connecticut. Yeah. Because yeah, sometimes when we would talk when you wake up, I'm still not sleeping. So we would yeah. talk in the morning for her and night for me. So yeah, we did that for about a, a little over a month. And then I was like, oh my God, this girl is incredible we had so many things in common i was i was crazy about her mm -hmm. and i wanted to meet her in person yeah so that's when i decided to book a flight over there to go to morocco oh and travel God. i remember this day yeah. i got so nervous well, when i want to pick you up from the airport yeah but before you know before all of that we did want to meet you know i booked that flight but yeah. COVID hit Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you forgot yeah. COVID. So then yeah. we didn't actually meet each other for another six months. So we were talking for like seven, eight months before we actually met each other physically. Yeah. Yeah. That's and true. that's the first day we met is at the airport. She came and picked me up. It was an incredible feeling. Obviously, we had many, many thoughts about it because, you know, <laughs> we've been talking for seven, eight months together. Yeah. And I, mean, I didn't tell you. I was, I was nervous if you're gonna be uh short <laughs> i never told you this. of course <laughs> it's always short guys if you have short problems you know it makes no, sense no i respect the short people <laughs> i don't have any problem with that well what happened if i was short would you not talk to me anymore would you not i will talk to you but i think i will be a little bit disappointed <laughs> i don't know going back to it sorry guys so we met, um, I stayed there for like a, over a week, 10 days maybe, yeah. almost two weeks. Yeah. And I quickly realized that I think I was going to marry this woman because it was, again, we've been talking for now seven, eight months and I had this, you know, imagination of what I expected in, you know, a future wife and she... But tell us when was like the... Day or that I knew when I was there. Yeah. So believe it or not, that was pretty quick. I think it was two or three days in when we were shopping around and we went to a uh, mm -hmm. ring store 
and she tried on an engagement ring and it was the craziest thing because once she put that ring on and I saw it on her, that's that day, the moment I realized I'm going to ask her to marry me, which, which is pretty crazy, obviously. Yeah, I was so quick. Yeah. And then, uh, after that trip, I went back in January of 2021 and asked you to marry me. Yeah. It was after three months yeah. that you visited me. Yeah. yeah. So he planned to come to visit me to propose, but I didn't know. Uh, the day that he came to Morocco, he told me that he has a lot of work and we won't be able to talk. I was like, yeah, okay, because sometimes he has a lot of work. But we managed to to, talk, to like call each other to say good night or good morning. And so at night he didn't he didn't call me and I was like, what? This is different. What's going on? And he called me in the middle of the night saying, ah, oh, I got so busy, I had a lot of work and I had to go meet my parents. And I was mad at him. So I was like, <laughs> okay, yeah, good night, bye. I hanged up the morning. Uh, he, um, I called him to wake him up. He so didn't <laughs> he didn't answer, he didn't pick up the phone. So I was like, okay, something is going on now. And I don't want to look like I'm frustrated or nervous about it so i didn't text him or anything i just called he didn't pick up and that was the day when like the morning when you were when you came to morocco you were with my sister yeah yeah so yeah, you were with my sister i surprised her because i was talking with their sisters about how i can propose and i organized all of that with your sisters yeah and then the funny thing is i i remember when she was calling me the next day and i'm like I don't answer. I don't know what to do. <laughs> and I knew you were mad at me. And I was like, oh my God, just wait a little longer until I see you. You were stressed when on the phone. Yeah. You were stressed. I felt it. Yeah. I, it was very stressful. I mean, when I called her that night, I was sitting at the airport because I didn't want to FaceTime. So she was like, why are you not FaceTiming me? Because we always FaceTime. I was like, oh, because my parents are here. I'm headed to like or something. So, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to insist, but I felt something is there. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you didn't insist. Otherwise, I I didn't know how to lie. And another thing. So that morning when he wanted to propose, um, the plan was me and my sisters will go to um, take photos. And so I went there and we were walking by to see me and my sisters and my, my sisters she was acting weird <laughs> so she was acting weird she was like oh look at the water look at these rocks like what <laughs> <laughs> what this is weird okay and then you called me so he called me and acting like he just woke up it's like oh yeah good morning and i was mad. I was like, yeah good morning <laughs> and you were like where are you i'm with my sister outside and they were like, oh, I wish, I wish I was there. I was like, mm, yeah, because I, I was still mad. I was like, mm, I yeah, didn't say no, yeah, I, me too. <laughs> I said, I want to take, I'm going to take photos with you or something. And then that's when I told her to turn around and yeah. I was behind her with a bunch of roses. That's when I asked. I, yeah, I was, I was so shocked. Like, yeah. I was mad, like, yeah, expecting you it was, it was to a be good, there. It was a pretty good proposal. You were so stressed. Oh my God. <laughs> I was so nervous proposing. I didn't know that it was going to be that <laughs> that stressful. You know, when I was on my knee, I'm like, I can't hear you. And, and it, was, it was pretty funny. I'm like, what? what did you he, say? he asked, he said, like, will you marry me? And I was like, yes. And he didn't hear me. He's I like, didn't hear you. I was like, it was a yes. And then you were like, give me your left hand, your left hand. I was like, yes, this is mine. Like, no, this is your yeah, it was, it was oh, stressful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I loved it. I loved yeah. it. We hope you enjoyed our first video and uh, you got to learn something about us too. Yeah, our, our little love story that yeah. we have. And uh, please give us some suggestions about next videos. Uh, either comment below or DM us on Instagram. Yeah, don't forget to like it and subscribe, please. Yes. <laughs> we'll be more than happy to make additional content. Thank you.